Hi there, Booktube! My name is Christina and, well, actually I wasn't planning to film this video at the beginning of 2020, but here I am, it's my first time filming with the tripod and this new camera, so I hope that it turns out at least decent. I already see that the colors are a little bit off, but, well, who cares? I hope that the audio is decent, I'm not sure about it, but finger crossed. So today we are here with a haul, and I wasn't expecting to do a haul at the end of 2019, but since at the end of the year I visited both Riga and Vienna, I decided... Wien? Wien? Well, the capital of Austria. Um, I decided to apparently go wild, and I bought a lot of books, and I received some books as gifts, and... Yeah, let's get to the titles. I will go through them in the order in which I got them, slash bought them. So the very first one is a book that my grandma bought for me. It's still sealed <laughs> for that reason. And it's a very famous book. It's 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. It's a classic, a very well-known classic. And my grandma gifted it to me because she told me that a lot of people wait in order to read this book and then when they do, they usually ask themselves why they've not read it sooner because apparently it's a very great book. So I hope to love it. I'm not very, right now, <laughs> I have to admit that I'm not very attracted to it, let's say like that, but... I will get to it sooner or later and probably one of the reasons why is that it's a huge classic and it's the reason why apparently I'm reading less in Russian at least I was analyzing it and probably it's because the majority of the books that I own in Russian are all classics which are already hard to read so if all my classics are in Russian I somehow link Russian to very heart reads and then I don't pick them up so I hope that in the future I will like, change this kind of trend but that's the first book that I got. The second one that my grandma gifted me is actually a history of my city town, city town of my home city. I was born in Riga, Latvia and so she bought me a short history of Riga, my city, and inside it's, it has some illustrations, some fun facts, and a lot of history, and images, photos and such, so I hope to read it one day and to know more about the city where I was born. Next book has a very funny story. so. I think that I will read it in a specific moment of the year as the one that I'm currently reading. It's a book by Rosamunda Pilcher, so I'm reading right now a Winter Solstice, and this one, it's orange, and it's called September, so it's of course an autumn book, I believe. And this is a book that I got in the most incredible way, because I was just chatting with my grandma and I told her, her that I'm currently reading A Winter Solstice, and I asked her if she ever read September, because a lot of people stated that it's their favorite book of hers. And she told me that she's not sure, but who knows? And then the next day I was in the city with my father, we, was, we were just walking, and suddenly he goes like, okay, let's go to a bookshop. And I'm like, okay, why not? I'm always in for walking a bookshop. And he's very specific about the bookshop in which we have to go, so I'm okay, let's go. A little bit strange, but who am I to protest? And then we get there and he tells me that my grandma already called like at 8 a.m. in the morning and ordered me this book because we talked about it. So now I have the book waiting for me. Yeah, that's my grandma. She's like a secret FBI agent 
or something like that. But now I own the book and I'm very glad about it. Next is again a book in Russian. It's a hardback and I'm very excited about it because it seems funny. I don't think that it's anything too serious. I would call it kind of fantasy, more like folklore-ish and comic, probably. I'm not sure about it. It's by Yevgeny Cheshirka, I believe, and it's called Nivnik Domovova, so the diary of a Domovoy. And if you don't know who a Domovoy is, it's very, very Russian. <laughs> and it's part of the folklore. So Adamovoy is actually the spirit or the creature that lives in a house and so he protects the house and he's just the spirit of the house. So when you go to live to a different place, usually you will find a different Adamovoy. So it's interesting and I love the book because inside is absolutely amazing. It's a little bit illustrated, it has these beautiful details on the pages, so I cannot wait to read it. I believe that it will be funny and lovely, so I hope to enjoy it and it's just beautiful. Next, let's get to the part where I went wild, because if you don't know, in Latvia books are cheaper, like incredibly cheaper than in Italy. And, well, I went wild, I saw a bunch of books in English and I wanted to buy so much more, but fortunately I was limited by the weight that I was allowed <laughs> to take with me in my luggage, otherwise I would have bought probably everything. So the first book that I have here is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence and it's a huge phenomenon here on booktube. A lot of people that I trust told amazing things about it and the only thing that I know is that it's a fantasy. We're following a girl who starts as an eight-year-old girl, her name is Nona Gray, and she is being trained to become an assassin nun. Nuns or assassins. I don't need to know anything else. Like. Nothing else matters. <laughs> and this is the start of a series, but I just really wanted to go for it and it's the first time that I physically see it in the shop, so I just got it. To keep on the color theme, which goes well with my sweater right now, is Red Rising. I finally, finally bought Red Rising. I looked for this book for the longest time and I was like hoping to get it one day, maybe, who knows, but then I saw it and I knew that it was the right moment. This is a sci-fi book and I'm not a huge sci-fi reader, not because I don't like sci-fi, it's just that somehow I don't buy it for... I, I don't have a reason for why, because I enjoy sci-fi, <laughs> so I just read it less for no reason, apparently. And uh, this book, I wanted it to read for the longest time because it was so, so hype here on Booktube, specifically by Books and Looks channel, and I saw so many videos about this book, of them raving about it, and so I went for it. So it's a sci-fi, we are following a male protagonist whose name is Darrow, who is a red, which means that he's a minor on Mars, so we're in space, and he tries to, and he minds just because they are trying to allow humans to live on Mars, except for the fact that, well, he discovers that people already live on Mars, so he and other people like him were being exploited for the longest time, and now he's starting a revolution or something like that, so I can't wait to dig into it. Next book I have no excuse for buying, except that it was first beautiful, two very very cheap, and three very very hyped, <laughs> and it's The Starless Sea. And you may ask yourself, why don't you know why you bought it? I mean, it's so hyped. Well, because I've not read the first book, The Night Circus, by Erin Morgenstern yet, so that's the strange part. But it was cheap, it's a huge book, it was just for 13 euros, uh, which is very cheap. Here I would have spent much, much more for it. The cover is lovely and I know that a lot of people love this author. I think that I 
I've heard very little about the content, so I don't want to know anything. I've not even read the back except for the first like quote, and it's, are you lost or are you exploring? And this is all I know about this book. And I hope that I will love it. <laughs> yeah, I know, this video is completely random. Next was a book that I was very surprised to find in a bookshop like that, because usually here in Italy it's very hard to find these kind of books when they're in English, but there it was, it was very cheap, and so I took it as a sign and I bought it. And it's The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. This is a beautiful edition, just even if it's a paperback, look inside of it. And uh, this, I believe that it will be a very hard read and it will like hit me right in the guts because it is set in the Trojan War, and we're following the character of Brisees, and she's the girl who goes from a free woman, woman, a free woman, to a slave, and she becomes the slave of Achilles. So she's quite a known character if you're interested in the myths and in if you've read the Iliad and so on. But this is all from her perspective and from that of other women. And so the name The Silence of the Girls is very, very explicative because it really tells you that there was a lot of things that were kept like in the silence and we just didn't know, even if you consider that it's not a historical fact and it's completely mythological, the myth is always told through the eyes of men, and so this is a female perspective. And I'm glad to know that there are more and more books like that, considering some big events in history. So this is my starting point, and I know that it will probably be very hard, but I seriously hope to read this one in 2020. Next is a very strange book, and by strange I mean that I've never heard about it, and it was there, sitting for 3 euros and 90, and it's so, so cheap that here in Italy you seldom find a used book for that price, but it's a fantasy, it's by Robert Holstock, and it's the winner of the World Fantasy Award for Best Novel, so I don't know why I've never heard about it, and it has an introduction by Neil Gaiman, who I trust and I love, so the cover was beautiful, and the book is Mythago Wood. The back tells you very little, so I will tell you what I understood. I don't know if it's a full fantasy or more like magical realism, and it's about Stephen Huxley, who I believe is a soldier, because it tells us that he returns home from the Second World War, so it's historically sad and very interesting because of that, and uh, he returns to his home and it's near to a wood, where he already lost his father, and now his brother is missing, so I don't know, it's strange and a little bit whimsical, so I hope that I will like it, and it has a sequel, and I don't know if this series ends with a sequel, or if it was intended to be longer, but unfortunately the author passed on 2009, so we won't have more, but I very hope that I will enjoy this book and the sequel. And then we traveled to Austria, and well, at that point I really had no more space, but I still had the desire to buy at least one book, one very specific historical book, but I ended up buying two, because at that point, why not? I still had my hand luggage to use, and I bought two books about two very famous and amazing women, and the first one is about Maria Theresa of Austria, and it's by Regine, Regine, Neuhauser, no idea how to pronounce this name, it has this beautiful cover and it tells a full-blooded politician, devoted wife and mother to all, and she is such a famous historical personality. I've read and I know a lot about her most famous daughter, Marie Antoinette, of course, and now I really wanted to know more about her life after visiting all of the palaces and just streets and parks in Vienna, I just really wanted to dive into her life. 
And the next very, very famous woman is, of course, Elizabeth the Empress, so The Reluctant Empress by Brigitte Hamann, Hamann, not sure, and she's the famous Empress Sissi, the tragic, tragic Empress. After visiting Schönbrunn and Hofburg, now I know much more about her and she really was, well, out of her time and very sad and she felt trapped. So I really want to know more about her life and to dive in a little bit more, there are some illustrations, some pictures and photos, so you really may see a little bit more in depth about what happened and these are two non-fiction books of course and I can't wait to read it. There were fiction books about, I believe about Sissi, not about Maria Theresa, but I'm so glad and I really want to know more about the most famous monarchs of female monarchs of Europe because I believe that they were amazing and it's important to know what happened in the past and how were the people behind the political mask. And this concludes my haul. I hope that you're not too bored and yeah, I just went wild, I bought a bunch of books, which means that now I can wait peacefully till my birthday with my book buy pen. Because this year, yes, I'm doing it again, I feel quite good in doing it, I select much, much more my reads, so I'm happy like that. So, let me know down below if you've read any of these books and if you have any, like, historical personality that you really like and that you would love to know more about. For me personally it's very much Marie Antoinette and now I'm trying to like expand Marie Antoinette and the Romanov family. Yeah, those are the two. And now I'm trying to expand a little bit more and to dive into other monarchs' life. <laughs> So, this is it for my video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you very very soon in my next one. Bye! Ciao!